G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What I'm going to be having a look at in this video is how to solve simultaneous equations. So I'm basically going to go through a whole bunch of examples of these uh, in different videos. What I'm also going to put up at the end of each video is uh, a link eventually to a way, once you get used to these, of solving these a little bit differently. You might find it a little bit easier, but I think it's really worth getting uh, this method worked out first. So. The way we solve these, first off, simultaneous equations is where we have two algebraic equations, okay, these are equations that have these x's and y's, these variables in them, and we use these two equations to solve these unknown variables, okay. Um, the way that we do this is we have to get at least one set of these coefficients, the numbers in front of these variables, the same, okay, as you see at the moment, this is the same as 1y and this is 2y, this is 4x, this is 3x, so that none of them match up, okay, there's, the y's are different, the x's are different, so we have to make at least one set of them the same. The easiest way to do that is we get equation 1 here and we times it by 2, and this is the result. So I'm going to put equation 1 here, equation 2 there. Now if we multiply equation 1 by 2, we get 8x plus 2y and it equals 14. And equation 2 stays the same. 3x plus 2y equals 9. Now what we can do is we can take equation one of the equations from the other. And you can see this and we can go 8x take away 3x and it gives us 5x 2y take away 2y, these guys cancel each other out and 14 take away 9 gives us 5 so 5x equals 5 that means x equals 1 now to work out y what we do is we substitute x into the equations here so I'll do it for both equations up here 4 times 1 is 4 so 4 times 1 equals 4 plus y equals 7 so 4 plus y equals 7 that means y is equal to 3 and that's for equation 1 I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll also substitute it into equation 2 so same sort of thing uh, 3 times x so 3x's 3, 3 times x is 3 plus 2y, well I'm calling y 3, so 2 times 3 is 6, and this equals 9, so indeed that is correct, that means our answer is correct. So I'm going to put a link up uh, for the next video, but also for a way that you might find these, a different way of solving these, okay, but I think it's really worth getting these nailed on how to work these out uh, properly. Anyway, hope to see you in the next video, bye.